right, now I'm going to play Yesterday, uh, as promised. So it's in the key of F. So that's using all the inversions that you were just practicing, except you're doing it with your right hand, and I was practicing them with your left hand, which is always good if you're right handed. So you can practice both, but in the left hand you're doing the bass. There's another way of playing it, is that you could just do the melody with your right hand, like simple one note melody, and play just the chords in your left hand. What's important when I'm doing that is I don't just play the root inversion all the time. So apart from it's difficult because you're jumping about, but it also sounds nicer. So it's important to be able to go from the first to the fourth to the fifth, and the first to the fourth, and the first to the fifth, and all these different combinations. Um, so you got it's a very common chord sequence to have the first and the fourth and the fifth. It's like happy birthday, for example. So in F, if you're in the key of F, that's, that's the first, that's the fourth, that's the fifth. So rather than all that jumping, if you get to B flat, you just, just move two notes and keep one the same. If you want to go to the fifth, the quickest way is just to move two notes and keep one the same. So you've got first, fourth, first, fifth, first, using the different inversions of each one. So I'll go up an inversion from F to the next inversion and do the same. First, fourth, first, fifth, first. You can see each time I'm just moving two notes and keeping one the same. First, fourth, first, fifth, first, and so on. That's really handy and it's used in so many different things. Um, so I'll, next video, I'm gonna I'm gonna play those those uh, inversion movements in in every key.